Hello magpies, ready to get riggedy wrecked? Let's swoop on in. So, last time in our Civilization's Terra Australis playthrough, the, uh, our expanding civilization continued its monumental faith-based growth, spreading to fill almost every piece of the continent we expanded our fisheries, sweeping across our east and northern coast. And we filled the land, bring, making it extremely productive. However, these positive developments belied a darker problem. A cancer at the heart of our civilization. A deeply antithetical to progress arrogance that has crept into our into our civilization into our culture by our belief in ourselves as the chosen people we thought that the old ones would simply provide for us in every case we thought that as we expanded into the seas our enemies would simply fall down before us and we thought that the ways would open up to us towards our brighter destiny. Such that we disregarded this upstart half-moon clan, the last hurrah of the barbarians, of the other tribes who inhabit this land, such that they decimated our professional fighting force and now close in on our holy city, our sacred site of Wailuna. We thought that we would take Port Moresby in a flash, such that we were outflanked by the Japanese Navy. And now must reconsider whether we can actually take it or whether we are forced to retreat. And so, as our golden age ends, and we begin the industrial on the back foot, Our, a certain reactionary movement begins in our civilization. The, the uh, faith that has driven us to greatness is susceptible to darker messaging. And our arrogance turns to rage and recriminations and will the industrial herald a new era of warfare so let's take a look at our policies here let's see view governments oh what's this i can press this button and have a revolution oh what's this a new populist Revolution, a new populist monarchy. Anarchy for three turns. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't actually know what that means, so let's do it. So, the ruling king class questioning the ways of the, uh, the ways of the void singers. Not openly, but tacitly. Presents themselves as uh, the true path to unlocking our manifest destiny. They incorporate the language of spiritualism extolled by our priestly class and twist it towards militaristic ends. A foreboding promise for the future. So I actually think we might not need to retreat here. Just looking at how much damage I can do to the wall. I can probably down it in like three or four turns. Probably by the time our anarchy ends. But this one's going to need to uh, heal about that way. 
But we're gonna keep them around just to tr see if we can get the quad to attack them. Yeah, you keep on going. So this could be the start of a greater military disaster, but hey, let's find out. Keep developing our seas. Oh, my, uh, my computer fan is making some angry noises today. It is pretty warm today. I've got the aircon on. I hope the, hope the uh, audio is not picking that up. Last time it was fine. I was actually relatively happy with my audio last time. I haven't really checked, haven't really updated it, haven't really double checked, but we should be fine. I'm just happy to be playing some some games. Um, taking a little break at the moment from my, I'm busy writing my next couple of projects for this channel. I have two or three video essays in mind and I'm looking forward to sharing them with you all. Shipyard. All right, let's start our anarchy, I suppose. Anarchy, anarchy. Probably want to boost our city walls. Should be sort of favoring city walls, probably. It protects our civilizations and also potentially frees up a military civ, a military so uh, policy slot. Book of Thoth. That's interesting. Um. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. International arms and diamond traders. I think Book of Thoth is appropriate. Uh, the Ibis is a kind of a... Yep, yep, there goes the last of our military. Now we're basically just town defense until we can get something back up. I mean, I could make better strategic decisions, but... I mean, you know, pigs could fly. You're gonna get captured, but that's okay. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make you take. Let's get counter spying. Ba boom. Ba boom. Oh, actually, gonna get this down quicker than I thought. Yeah, I think we're gonna do all right for ourselves. Yeah, there we go. I mean, we're going to win this anyway, but. Let's be real, our new monarchic government will use this to justify their rule. Anti-empiricism and autocracy go hand in hand. Yeah, I'll keep the city. Hey, I thought I was meant to... Let's see, I thought I had something, let's see... By the sword, capturing a city with a melee unit... Oh, when a melee unit is... I guess naval melee doesn't count? Alright, fair enough. I learned a thing. Mm, 
Alright, multi queue up, some repairs and defenses. Yes, we want walls. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, that's uh, Melbourne. Okay, Melbourne has got some production now, it looks like. Uh, we probably want walls. Ooh, ooh, what do we got? Eh, I'm not really a fan of the cultist unit. I haven't really found the best use for it yet. Seems like you'd need a billion of them to even make a difference. Hmm, maybe I should chuck him in Wailuna. That could be cool, right? I mean, he's still a few uh, promotions away from offering a meaningful advantage. Oh, look, we have another. Nah. Well, he's closer now. Um, do I have any strategics here? Yeah, we got gunpowder. We're probably going to get more, right? Probably going to be like some uranium or something in here. Let's shore up our loyalty. Why not? Not that it's going to be too much of a problem. That's just a stepping stone to the advantage we to the uh, upgrade that we really want. And I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Except I'll tell you later. Hmm, we should actually get up and improve those turtles. That's a lot of luxuries. Just sitting there. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Oh, no faith due to anarchy. Oh. Ooh, that's rough. That's definitely rough. Okay, so that's what anarchy does. Not good. That's fine, we got good city defense. Doo -doo. Or two turn frigate. Damn, son. Yeah, let's 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 do that. How could I say no? Oh, let's uh, do some international arms trade. Let's do some evil magpies. Oh, I'll keep the gunpowder. It's not bad for iron this late in the game. Alright, cool. Once we get out of anarchy, that will get us back on track, I reckon. Or reckon. Okay, now... 
You can get your industrial zone up. Our civilization is just in a total state of like everything's ground to a halt. Everybody is freaking out about the barbarians going wild. It's oh, it's the it's the end of civilization. We need to become more reactionary. We're losing the war even though we've already conquered Port Moresby. This is what happens when people get scared, folks. Not good. At least we got some nice chill Indian music. Okay. Haha, <laughs> science has stopped too. Wow, anarchy is not good. All these 70s punk bands lied to me. Okay, let's peek at what's coming. No Jap massive Japanese fleet a turn away. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably train some scouts to go air score hunting. Okay, look at that money now. We are back in the game, boys. I mean, I could have done that anyway, but you you know, let's be real. We know that our our new monarch is taking taking claim for this. He's taking responsibility. Okay, now, how much is a scout going to cost? A skirmisher, 300, or 600 gold. Okay, okay. All right, so we probably don't need this one anymore. Uh, we maybe don't even need this one anymore. So let's put, put on our old friend Urban Planning. Um, I think, I think Great Engineer points are currently disabled, which is a little dumb. But this is useful to us right now. Um, have we got everywhere we can here? I think we have. Yes. Alright, time to move on. To Carnavon. Carnavon. I guess I can't, Arvon. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, hello. I haven't met you yet, I guess. 
I haven't really been, I haven't really uh, done North America yet. So that would be that. Oh, hello. All right. Now, I feel like it's time to start bullying the Maori. Hmm. This probably isn't going to bode well for my attempts to get air score through scouts and exploration. Science owes more to the steam engine than the steam engine owes to science. I might as well try, right? Ironclad, ba-boom. Skirmisher. How? Okay, where do we want to go now? Electricity might be a good one. So we have a dam, we can get hydroelectric. Um, seaport is excellent for our playstyle. Just see. So, I mean, we want there eventually. But yeah, let's do it. Oh, pushing into the modern era already. I'm not entirely certain whether that expedites the era changing, but if it does, it's probably not going to be great for me. Really need to stop headbutting my mic. I noticed in the last video it actually did pick it up with the audio setting changes I did, so... I don't know. It's all mic position. Is this Ra Ra Rasputin? God, that sounds like Ra Ra Rasputin. Okay, so we could do a that legit might be a decent idea. Yeah. Militarism. Alright, now we'll get you. Swap that. So we now got that one. And we'll plug you in. How far are you away from population of seven? Okay. Um, you're growing, growing pretty nicely. Let's get your walls. Keep shoring up the fence. A frigate. Alright, so we still got our denouncement on the Maori, right? Oh. Oh! As Peter just declared war on us, that's probably why our production shot up. Um, where are... Where 
is Coupe? Coupe the Navigator. Paging Mr. Coupe. There you are. Oh, I look at my science. Ironically, despite all the doom and gloom of my populist leader, things are actually going very well for me. Who would have thought it? Populists lie. Crazy, right? Half Moon Clan's about to go down. That could be a little bit of a problem for me. Sinbad can actually do some decent damage by using his charges. Oh, infantry. Damn, I am I am probably behind in the military techs and stuff. Um, my only chance to do this kind of civilization bullying probably comes from a more of a uh, naval warfare. How? Oh, whales. Yeah, let's do it. Zealandia. Oh, somebody mentioned to me. I remember in one of my videos I was like, Oh, Madagascar isn't a continent. Turns out... It kind of is. Or at least, you know, I haven't looked this up, but somebody told me that Madagascar is the tip of a great big submerged continent. So you can kind of argue, like, that it's not really a continent, because, like, then, like, is every, like, bit of land under the ground, a co under the sea, a continent? But... Yeah, it's a bit weird, hey? Alright, next turn, we escalate. Es escalate, it's a funny, funny word that, like, it'll come from, like, um, like, I think, like, escala in Spanish, I think, is, like, climb. So I guess it's like to go up, to raise. Escalamonte. I think that's the climb mountain. Makes no sense, but whatever. Um. Uh, I guess we should dam this river. We can use use that. Yeah, that's probably the best one. Alright, get our walls up first. Uh, three turns till you're ready. Well, you only got one charge. Let's chuck you over there. Oh, I'm feeling a little sleepy today. You can make some more strategic decisions. There we go. I've, I've mentioned that I'm sleepy. Now I can blame all my poor choices on that.
Oh, hello, that's a Japanese musket man. <laughs> Here we go. It begins. There we go. All right. Ooh, declared war. Oh, Maori declared war. Russia. Russia has already declared war. What gunpowder did for war, the printing press has done for the mind. Mm. There we go. You just... No, oh, bad Japan. You probably stop them from plundering my... Uh, plundering that. Well, at least it's not an infantryman. All right, let's 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 creep and peek. Ba-boom. Oof, this is going to take a while, moment. Ba-boom. Well, at least we'll get some XP. Pow. Carronades go burr. I suppose they'd be cannons, not carronades. Carronade is like a smaller sort of a punching weapon. Shorter range, but quite devastating. Big heavy ball. Or at least such is my understanding. Yep, we need them walls. You know what? Let's make another skirmisher. And, um... Granary! Granary? Granary? I don't know what to tell tell you, Wilfred. Oh, wow! Look at look at Basil. What a Chad! No money, no military, all culture, all science, and faith, of course. is a military animal glories in gunpowder and loves parades spoken like a true autocrat let's box them in for the capture I wonder, does anybody still want to buy my coal? Surely somebody, right? Yeah. I mean, this is the era of the rise of capitalism. Hardly the most ethical government system. There you go. If 
I hadn't turned off global warming effects, I would basically be single-handedly responsible for the destruction of the world. At this point with all the coal I'm selling. But maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe I should have left uh, global warming on, on and used that to sort of represent, like, you know, I don't know, the return of the old gods or something like that. That would have been funny. It's gonna take a minute. Maybe I should make, like, a catapult and sticker here. That'd probably be the smart move, hey. Oh look, old Viking longship. How quaint. Let's see, production towards military units. That is a... Yeah, let's claim that. Sorry, Melbourne. All the Melbourneites in chat are fuming. Sydney takes everything from us. Hey, at least you're not Adelaide. Adelaide's like, at least I'm not Brisbane. Brisbane's like, at least I'm not Sydney. It all goes around. What goes around brings us down. What do we got? Purcellan Tower. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be very cool. Six amenities. Nine turns. Yeah, let's... Let's replace this. This is very low yield. If somebody else builds it, we can just build a um, commercial hub there. We'll have good adjacency. Yes, let's buy our armory. Now, let's get to work on a military engineer. Start building some railroads. We're going to have our, need a lot of railroad to cover this country. Harbour, yes please. Uh, I need to buy these out soon. Oh. Can't believe how much our science has picked up. Walls. Probably going to need some more builders soon-ish. Uh, let's build a trade, actually. There we go. Industry around them. Turtles. Do I have any more turtles? I'll probably build the industry there for cans. Yeah, that sounds smart. They are killing me as slowly as I'm killing them. And first Hephaestus makes a great and massive shield. And he forged on the shield two noble cities. Hmm. I can guess which cities economy, those however, are. The individual has some possibility of escaping from the power of the state. Are you sure about that? 
Yeah. Oof. That's some brain rot right there. Okay, we probably... That's probably what we want now. Yeah, that looks good. Gotcha. Alright, now we want you... How hated are we in America right now? Not too much. That's kind of the American way, isn't it, right? As long as you keep your wars away from us. Well, you know, that's how America used to be. We're talking like pre-World War II. So let's head on over. Get our next level of walls. Uh, uh, this one. Probably another barracks. Next one we build will be a stables. It's factory time. Get in, loser. We're ruining the environment. What do I want to do with this boy? I don't know. I guess we'll just use him to explore, I guess. Take that trade route. Nice. Well timed promotion. And you, I guess. Head you over here, I suppose. Okay. Still trying to overturn Korea in Namadol. Oh yeah, definitely gonna need some more builders soon. We can now build lumber mills on jungles. Jungle mills. That's right, Sinbad's charges only work against barbarians, I think. I was wondering why he hasn't been using them. Alright. Now maybe let's spend some gold. Rannery. Rannery. Obelisk. Rannery. Rannery.
Oh, we got. <laughs> I should have spent that on this. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. Get a couple of builders. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to develop these. Probably just going to get taken by Japan. Map is probably going to end up with like one civilization somewhere in Europe is going to get like... I don't know, like Byzantium or somebody is just going to get giant death robots and just start stomping on everybody. Yeah, I'm probably going to have some... I've probably got some few turtles to trade. All the best romances bloom in the midst of a good siege. Hmm. I hadn't really thought about it, but I suppose I have read a few books where that happens. And if it's in a book, it must be true. Ah, oh, we can get some health for him by pillaging. Probably the play, right? Actually, what do you get for pillaging? Just health again. Alright. Now begins the long, boring, methodical task of building our railroads. Okay, for oil. We're going to need both of these. Walls, walls, walls. Oh, hello. Look who's back. Who can I? Those a musket man would be the play, right? Yeah. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Those crazy half moon clanners. Okay, so we're gonna need some of this to build our railroads. So we're gonna be gaining it at an at a at a at a steady rate, so we could probably trade it all away, but um we don't super need it at the point at this moment where we are super wealthy. We've got, we've got siege. We've got them under siege. Right. 
Probably Steven Seagal's only tolerable movie under siege. Yeah, we want to invest in that. It's all our diplomatic. Yeah, well, we kind of wasted it, but that's okay. Duplicates? Well, let's say turtles just for the fun of it. Oof. Sunny. I think this is the Hawaiian Islands. You probably um, settle there. <laughs> I often say Australia is like if you crossed uh, Texas or with Hawaii, like the like the pineapple pen guy, you know. I have Texas. I have Hawaii. I have Australia. Oh, dinky, die fucking oath, mate. Get one up, yeah. Truly, we we dug too deep. We released the Balrog. What are these? Are these shallow. Coast, yeah, they are. So that's Perth. Um, yeah, we might leave them for Perth. <laughs> oh boy, am I sleepy. There we go. Pound maker. He makes the pounds. Oh, hello. That was a bit of a... That was a bit of bit of something. Something something. Better how's your father? We're going to plunder there, but I'll probably get attacked by that. Let's see, what did the storm do? Five tiles damaged. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, probably want to pull this guy away now. I reckon I can probably finish it with three. Maybe next turn, conquer. We should be buying some Gadwaras. 
feed the world. Low key, I really, that's probably my least favorite Christmas song. Just kind of stinks of white savior, you know, like the line leading into the chorus. It's like, don't they know it's Christmas time at all? I mean, it's about feeding Africa, right? And their main concern is like, they need to know it's Jesus's birthday. Like, like can't we just like feed them because it's the right thing to do? I don't know, it just seems a little weird. Still got some turtles to sell. Buy my turtles. They are delicious. They come in their own bowl. So much money. Hmm. A few luxuries in um around here. I could technically just use this guy to explore, just right, send him into the Americas. Ugh, I wonder if that'd make him nervous. Um Trader. Walls. Walls. Honestly? Yeah, I think I'll take it. Oh, my amenities looking pretty good. Oh, Adelaide's not happy. Well, hopefully. Hopefully Porcelain Tower will fix that. We'll settle their hash. Shop. Buy the university because why not? Hmm. Gain three governor promotions. That would give that would boost New Zealand. Build the factory for now. die. Thank you forever. Oh, yeah, I have to keep this one. I can't raise it. Which is fine. I should actually just send you back here to heal now.
Yep, that's going to make the Maori cross. Do they hate me in America yet? Well, they don't like me, but they don't hate me. Maybe I should settle, make some open borders deals before they really start to hate me. Because that's coming. That's coming. Oh lord, is she coming. No one starts a war, or rather, no one in his senses ought to do so, without first mm -hmm. being clear in his mind what he intends to achieve by that war, and how he intends to conduct it. Yeah, I'm going to interpret that as a, as a, as a, as a personal attack. It's Sean Bean who does those those voiceovers, right? Sean Bean's coming for me. Scene Bean. Oh, bills are getting expensive. place is still going to need extra food and stuff. It is still in the desert, even though I've got a lot of production and a little bit of food coming in and they're going to have decent housing. Food is still going to be a problem for Waluna. Oh boy, lots of stuff to repair here. Don't think so. Not so fast, little chicken Marengo. Actually, I should use that builder to repair some of the stuff I broke. Okay, so do you hate me? Yeah, you pretty much do. I'm going to move up the coast. See, I'm probably I want to move into your territory. Sweet. And we'll just kind of play it by ear. Okay, where am I and what am I doing? Actually, you should go to South America. Still not really getting that air score. Alright, where should I bully next? Indonesia? Indonesia. You got the decent tech. You've probably got decent city walls. Probably gonna take a while, but. You got a few cities. A. Hey. In the middle of the plain stands a high steeple or tower made of porcelain. Is th that's not how you spell porcelain. Damn mods. Which fire exceed? I mean, unless like it's porcelain, unless it's like like you know I don't know name of a place or something. But no, oh, it's porcelain right there. Yeah, yeah, made of porcelain. Yep. Which fire exceed all other workmanship? That should be a small case W. Of the Chinese in cost and skill for which the Chinese have declared to the world, lowercase w, the rare ingenuity of their artists, lowercase a, in former ages, lowercase a. Look, it's good mod content. I can't complain. 
my people still unhappy? Oof. Guess there's no pleasing them. They're like people on the internet. So in theory, if all you're rocking is caravels, I could in theory roll over you. I think your caravels, you've probably got a lot of caravels, so you could still do a lot of damage to my, uh, to my frigates. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't think there'd be any settleable land. I mean, not really settleable, but, um, that'd be funny. I could definitely get some error score by settling there if I wanted to. Um, Gudwara? Gudwara. Okay. Oh. Can't slump in my chair. It's important to remember I still hurt my back not long ago. I mean, even without an injured back, good posture is good. Generally speaking, yes, I am in favor of things that are good. Okay. So. I'm sure you weren't saying anything useful. Hmm. Porcelain. Oh, I can actually trade the porcelain. That's interesting. Pretty soon I should expand my navy, I should build more. At some point I will need a ground army. Alright, we're almost connected, Wailuna with Sydney. This is the OG trade route right here. Ooh, line infantry. Why not? I got the money. I got the money and then some. Alright, coal power, it's time to ruin the world. This is the true uh, objective of the evil gods. doesn't like me so much anymore. I'm like the kid who's like, wait, why, why do the girls not like me when I started bullying the weaker kids? Like, my TikTok told me it was going to make me a top G.
Okay. That's kind of on it. And we go down to Perth. Perth, Perth, Perth. Send you where it needs to expand. Probably, I don't know, I guess Carnarvon. All right. Yosemite Valley to me is always a sunrise, a glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. And now I'm just going to lose to a barbarian. That was dumb. Well, I got a little bit of error score. I don't know what Russia expects to do to me. I mean, if recent event, world events have taught us as anything, it's Russia is not exactly uh, that great at waging war. Very good at disinfo, though. Very, very good at disinfo. Keep building up the coast. a little bit more challenging invasion to attack Indonesia. We'll see. Actually going to be a very productive city. Yeah. Okay. Yoink. Probably gonna not gonna need all these power plants. God, this would be a shitty place to live. Just like, oh yes, we've got our water supply here, surrounded by coal power plants. What could possibly go wrong? This is um yes. This is not how you play city skylines, folks. Thank you. Mm. Oh no, has it done the thing? Oh God, this is so stupid when it does this. So the units are stacked on each other. And it's telling me to move them, but I can't move either of them. So... I think I literally have to delete one of them. Yeah. It's so dumb. 
when it happens with like your, you know, army core units with max levels and stuff. It's like, ugh. For Axis, fix your game. Ooh, not looking good for ne for Phoenicia. They're about Phoenicia'd finish. -ed. They're nearly done, is what I'm saying. Let's get on our knees and pray. I don't know to whom. Is there a patron saint of ballistics yet? Adam Savage, ha, <laughs> Mythbusters. Probably is a patron saint of ballistics, you know. I don't know if you've heard much about European history, but... You know, war and torture are kind of their specialties. I mean, they literally have a word, oubliette, which refers to a dungeon which is uh, accessible only by a trapdoor in the roof. An absolutely abhorrent dungeon. They're like, yes, we need a word specifically for this torture. To distinguish it from all the other torture we do. But yeah, like, they have patron saints for just about everything. Um, there's a patron saint of the internet. Uh, Saint Isidore of Seville, who was, I think he was like a, uh... God, he was like a, like a 4th century or somewhere else, something like that. He was like a, a grammatist. He wrote extensively on Latin grammar. I, I, I would be surprised if we would know half we know about Latin translations if it wasn't for him. Oops, not that. Uh, okay, you're not going to let me through. Yeah, that's fair enough. I wouldn't let me through either. Let's see if I can work my way around. So I think it's always ironic. I really think it's ironic that the patron saint of the internet is associated with grammar it's like have have you ever been on the internet well i mean obviously he didn't but i believe it was um he was kind of elected patron saint of the internet ostensibly by like a um a catholic uh like i think it was like a school organization or something i mean I mean, I'm just going off memory here. Obviously, don't cite me as a source in your academic paper. If you do, you probably deserve to fail. Being a little harsh there, but you know. Be real. My, my, my VTuber said it, so it must be true. We know better. If you owe the bank one hundred dollars, that's your problem. If you owe the bank one hundred million dollars, that's the bank's problem. Mm -hmm. Improvement makes straight roads, but the crooked roads without improvement are roads of genius. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I think I've got all my walls up now. So I should maybe... one of these two, maybe? Hmm. 
Yeah, why not? Why not? All right, let's descend on Devao. Let's devour Devao. Formal war. Pa pow, pa pow. Pew pew. Oh, you gotta level up. Heal outside of friendly territory. Yeah, that's probably what we want. While we're here, we might as well buy you yours. Um, let's save that one for Adelaide. The Adelaidians. Melburnians. Um, Hoba... Ho Hobartians? Taswegians. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I should probably build that there. Get ourselves some fresh water. Aha. Uh -huh. I will take that. And I will take that. So next time, we've probably bought all... Yeah, I think we've... Oh, we haven't bought that one. Guess that's going to go to Melbourne. Oops, headbutt again. Oh, I should think about how I'm going to fix that. I mean, I could just not be dumb. But I mean, we gotta we gotta have a realistic solution that I can actually achieve. Everybody mad. Oh, Mulan! Oh, this is a grudge match now. You've been causing troubles for me in the past. Damn. Well, she got like a fucking javelin missile in her, in her compound bow there. Well, I guess I mean it's much more fun when you're not an astronomer. <laughs> That's actually funny. Brian May. Yeah, he would say something like that. Um I guess in Disney in the Disney movie she um did kind of you kind of use like a ballistic missile like firework. 
Oh, wow, she tough. Wow. Chad Mulan versus the 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 virgin gunship. going to be tricky. Figuring out which angles to come at them. Um. This song, I keep thinking it's going to go into like the Muppet th song. It's time to put on makeup. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. In the Muppet Show tonight. Privateer. We could do with a privateer or two. We could probably also do with like a bombard or two. See, we could like, yeah, cause we got these clusters of islands. We could plant on one island and bombard across the shallow water. That's a legit strat. You need a, not a trader, you need a builder. Builder. And a builder. And a builder. Neutralize governor. Ah, I stopped. Neutralize governor. That's good. Oh, hello. You have entered the open ocean. Ah, now you're in my territory. Yeah, probably time to sell some stuff. Even though I'm making more than enough money. need a bigger navy. I'm going to need a bigger boat. Alright. Nice. That will do nicely. Good work, little spy. What's your name? Yarly. Yarly, Yarly, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Mm, 
think I should swap that one. And in theory, that will become... That's uh, the same. Could chuck a aqueduct there to boost it. I think that's the play. I mean, this isn't much, but I could make it like an airport later or something like that. I don't know. And you, I guess, go there. I mean, I suppose Derby could, in theory, build an aqueduct there. See, it's, uh, that's probably going to become plus four once that one gets built. Oh, you don't have a harbour. That is an oversight if I've ever seen one. They name their units too, that's kind of cool. The King's Artists. Should be investing more. It's like the fifth time I've said this, but we should be investing speak louder than words. Hmm. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that this guy is an American. I have no evidence, but um, pretty sure I'm right. for the moment. Let's just see if we can. Nope, Mulan is still there. Who would have thought I'm the bad guy in a Disney movie? God, these islands are a maze. Amazing. Ha. Oh yes, I was gonna buy this one here. Okay. Gotta be some wonders around here somewhere.
Refining, yes. One turn frigate, my god. This, this. Hmm. Probably a bombard is the way. I'm not going to get, I don't have a stable, so I'm not going to get the bonus, but, um, you'll be right. She's oysters, as they say in Australia. Or at least they used to. There's a whole bunch of Australian slang and expressions and such that just don't really set anymore because... I mean, I'm not complaining at all, I'm just observing that, um... Nowadays we tend to learn our slang and such, not from our communities and our cultures, but from, like... Like, TikTok, and... Well, I mean, from Hollywood. So I think Hollywood is far less influential than it used to be. I mean, people do, like, get, like, really, really weird about, like, defending, like, Johnny Depp and stuff like that. Like, really, really into it. But... I don't think that's so much Hollywood driving that interaction. Well, it, it is kind of, because you got that nostalgic experience of, like, you know... Yeah, you saw him in like when he played the, the when he played the funny pirate in the Disney pirate movie. But it really kind of comes down to the the social media experience, the hashtags, the the multi-million dollar you know you know, the billion dollars of PR his, his team spends to help him win the lawsuit. And I'm not making a prescription here. I'm not judging. I'm merely describing things that happened. And, you know, and if you do get angry at me for making these observations, then, well, you kind of prove my point that people do get really weird about defending Johnny Depp, so... Checkmate, I guess. Pretty hollow victory, though. It's like, it's like, it's like saying, ah yes, the world is garbage, and then feeling proud of yourself when you're right. It's like... Well done, question mark? I probably am going to need another frigate, hey? Another privateer would be handy as well. And if I get too many frigates, I can just start, like, training them up as, like, um... Combining them into armies and corps, you know, like fleets and armadas. Armada... Armada... God, that pun's not going to work. I was trying to make an I'm a do that. But yeah. No. The vast majority of things I think are funny are not actually funny when I say them out loud. Hashtag relatable. I'm going to risk your loss. I think you'll be fine. You just hang there.
Hmm. I had a feeling. Maybe it's maybe there's a one up here or something. No. No, that doesn't look right. Maybe it's like literally right there. Isn't there one that's like the um how uh, like districts and wonders build 50% faster next to it? I thought that was in northern South Africa. Not Africa, uh, North South America. I mean, seriously though, the Johnny Depp trial was pretty weird, like, everybody was going like, true crime detective, like, ah yes, I, if I collaborate all of these court transcripts, collate them, I can, I alone can figure out what really happened, and... I felt like the only way to really stay informed about that case was to absorb, to, to observe as little of it as possible. It's like a, a brain rot aura. And I guess the point I was trying to make is that... Well, we learn shit from social media. I know, controversial take. I should really be coming at it from the other angle. Oh, hello. Hello. I should get a diplomatic quarter in theory in one of my cities. Maybe there's something Adelaide can do. Be useful, Adelaide. Why are your streets so narrow? Why did whoever designed you have no idea that the working class was a thing that exists that needs to that cities need to survive? Like, you gotta drive like like 15 minutes outside of town to like go to like, you know, your normal factory job. Like, you know, not everyone works in the service industry. I guess if you live near the center of Adelaide, you kind of have to. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. Adelaide people, get mad at me. Yeah, encampment. Um, um, um. Yeah, let's build some more boats. Oh, you don't even have a bloody harbour. Useless. Disgusting. Muscle our way through city development now. Oh, Indonesia. Making the plays. discovered this one, haven't I? 
It was a fantastic landscape, for all around were rocks of the weirdest forms standing in apparently impossible positions, some placed on or next to others in ways that seemed to defy every law of gravity. Cool. Now there should be one down here somewhere as well. We might make it past the Golden Age, past the, past the Dark Age. That's the plan. Engineering is the art of directing the great sources of power in nature for the use and convenience of man. Hmm. Hmm. What could possibly go Whatever wrong? Whatever is contrary to nature is contrary to reason. And whatsoever is contrary to reason is absurd. Sam, um, yeah. Very, uh, very enlightenment brain there. I guess that's the point, alright? Okay, so we probably don't need this one anymore. So let's go... Just, just boost our builders a little bit more. And maybe this one and that one? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that could be cool, right? Let's just check something real quick. Yeah, I'll close it. Yeah. For now, um, great engineer. I'm building. Yeah, why not? Let's boost our engineers. We just had the, the fun quote, which is totally not um, indicative of future problems about how cool engineers are. Which engineers are pretty cool. Every engineer I've ever met is a cool ass dude. It's the math students that are a little bit... I'm not going to say anything broadly about any discipline. We need, we need broad stroke approaches to change the world, and you know... You got maths people who like, think very abstract, and then you got maths people who think very... ...narrowly. Let's put it that way. Kind of like everything else, it sort of comes down to, you know, how do you... How do you broadly think about... The, uh... The context of your discipline. Anybody who thinks that they alone have all the answers... Is kind of baby-brained. And unfortunately, that is how a lot of science students do feel. There's a great uh, Saturday morning breakfast cereal comic about, like... What was it? It's the aging um, physicist syndrome. Where young physicists... Uh, they, they are productive and roll around in research and get stuff done, but... Once they get older... They enter the telling other fields that they're wrong about everything phase. We could call that the Jordan Peterson syndrome in, in the year of our Lord 2022, I think. Honestly, I kind of feel sorry for Jordan Peterson. It's 
not good. Oh, we need to start upgrading to battleships now. Okay, that is going to change the war. Yes, that is going to change the war. Yeah. Oh, Indonesia going to get it now. And I think we're closing. We're getting very close to the two hour mark. So that's probably a good point to wrap it up. We are transitioning into our comic book villain phase. Yes, having conquered uh, Port Moresby and Tehokianga Nuiya Kupe, I'm guessing. We now turn our attention to Indonesia and while they make extensive use of their complicated maze of islands to outflank us at every turn, our scientists devise new and deadly weapons and a new behemoth enters the water, ready to spread the word of the old ones with all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of its cannons. Oh, look, there's cannons too. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yes, 17 words a minute. So, yeah. There we are. Probably could do a better, better, better outro than that. But like I said, I am sleepy. So, thank you very much. If anybody is actually watching these, well done. Truly, well done. And as I headbutt the mic one last time, maybe this is going to be my signature catchphrase. Like, hey, hey, it's me, Vicar, swoop, swoop, donk. Okay, that's where we're going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. And we're going to play again real soon.